Let me play y'all some smooth jazz. <laughs> Hello everybody, the name is Carnage D-Rex and what you guys are watching today is a Heartlands Camel Cam provided by the player Carnage Herbo. So please make sure to go check him out because he's a great player and he would definitely appreciate the support because going out for gameplays is not too much of a simple task unless you're somebody with a lot of skill, which is something that I lack in greatly. I wish I had skills in Call of Duty, but unfortunately I'm a little child that has no type of brain at all whenever it comes to shooting a gun at other people. So I apologize for that because you'll never see a gameplay from me. But I'm pretty sure a majority of you guys don't give a flying fadoodle about seeing a gameplay from me anyways. Anywho, not that I'm done being a stranger, I wanted to talk about the Heartlands Camel because I have a whole lot of things to say about it. The first thing I would like to say about the Camel is it makes me feel very confused and the reason why that is is because I feel like it's a bunch of random pixels and cubes and that gets my eyes very lost because I have a weird brain. But besides that one little tragic thing, the Camel also makes me feel a little bit happy because I get a good vibe from it. Yes, camels give me vibes, and the reason why I say that is because it makes me think of candy, and I absolutely love candy. I say a majority of us like candy and can relate it back to some good old days. However, one problem with candy is that it gives you medical problems, and no one likes medical problems, and especially if you're in the United States where you have to pay for medical bills, then you start losing money that way, and maybe you're going to use that money for something nice, but now it has to go to your medical bills, and that is one unfortunate thing about candy. So I highly recommend do not overdose on candy. One thing that I always wonder with these camels is who comes up with the ideas? Who's the person that decides, you know what, this is going to be the camels that are going to come out and we're going to stick with them? Is it just one person or is it like a group or is there like a voting or what is going on? I really want to figure this out. Another thing that I was wondering is eventually they're going to run out of camel ideas and they're all going to get really repetitive and people are going to get sick of them and then they're just not going to make money anymore off of these camels. By the way, right now I'm talking about the future because I'm pretty sure in all the next Call of Duties, there's going to be camels that you're going to have to buy. I'm pretty sure that's how it's always going to be now. If the Call of Duty franchise is still alive 20 or 30 years from now, I'm pretty sure the camels are either going to get really, really cool or they're going to be very repetitive, nasty, disgusting, and no one's going to care for them at all. One evil plan that I had that I'm sure a whole lot of people had as well is maybe perhaps the community can recommend some certain types of camels and the person or the group that's in charge will make the camel and everybody in the world will be happy and there will be world peace. Since I'm already talking about camels, I also had this one thought in the back of my head that has been there for a while. And that is, do people still get hype over getting gold camel? Because I remember back in the days, back in Black Ops 1 and maybe even MW3, I used to get extremely happy just because I had gold camel on my gun. And I felt like a big boss, I felt like no one could touch me, and I just felt so powerful for some strange reason. But recently, I feel like no one really cares or pays attention to the gold camel like that anymore. It's like they just completely gave up after Black Ops 2. And I never hear anyone ever say they gotta go grind for some gold camo. Back in the days when I used to try hard so much to get these gold camos, I was like on Adderall or some type of drug, and I just wanted to get these gold camos so bad. It was literally like my whole goal in life, just to make sure that I had all my favorite guns golden, because then I had Swig and all my other friends in my school would just be like, yo man, how you get all those gold camos? And I just felt like a big cool person. I think the main reason why I was so obsessed with getting gold camels is because I just wanted to show it off like crazy. That's the main thing with camels. I want to be able to show off the camel and feel confident in myself. I also want people to look at my camel and just be so shocked and amazed by it and talk good about me and make my self esteem go up. So yes guys, camels can be a very powerful thing for some strange reason. But anyways, this video is coming to its conclusion, which is very unfortunate. And if you guys want to keep up to date with Carnage, please make sure to follow us on Twitter. The link to the Twitter will be in the description below. So please make sure to click it and follow it. Make sure not to follow the link in real life because I'm not sure how you would do that. But if you could, whoa, you are indeed a very special person and I want you to teach me. Also, please do not forget, guys, this gameplay is provided by the player Carnage Herbal. So if you guys could, make sure to check him out because I'm sure he will be happy if you all went over there and said hi. And if you guys enjoyed my commentary for today, make sure to come check out my channel as well. Leave me some love letters or send me some hate mail. But anywho, can this video hit at least 500 likes? That would be great. This has been Carnage D-Rex, and I'm saying have a good day. Nobody got gameplays like Carnage. You won't see them stripes like Carnage. And they post two videos every day, 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 day. Yeah, nobody gets support like Carnage, uh, who breaks world records like Carnage, ha. and if you didn't know my name is Marvin, uh, subscribe to Carnage, homie, that's all I can say.
Uh, yeah.